hello guys welcome to revit 2016 video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through the flow slab as you know that uh, in the last video tutorial we have we were discussing about beams so i have drawn uh, the beams for the entire structure for parking level uh, coming to parking we we shouldn't be having these walls so i mean that doesn't matter we can just make bigger holes over here so that uh, vehicles can pass through them uh, you know uh, these walls were done for having the strip footing but never mind that is some other part I mean right now we'll just go to parking and now we'll try to make a floor slab so go to structure and select floor and over here select floor structural now here you have options again line option curved line walls pick walls and let's you don't need the offset this time since we are having it on a flow it's not at the basement level so now you'll just select the walls using control button So once you are done uh, selecting the walls, you can select this right mark. Again, uh, reminding you guys never to intersect the lines. And do not uh, you, you don't need to select this wall because if you select this wall, uh, it intersects with this with the line, and that will that will cause an error for the slab. So you just need to select the boundary of whichever you need the slab in. So now here, yeah, select finish. it might take some time so here it says uh, the floor and roof overlaps highlighted walls would you like to cut the geometry you say yes there you go so uh, it's been created but if you want to uh, let's say if you want to edit something I mean thickness like edit the thickness uh, let's make it um, 8 inches select ok and now select apply and it gets applied So here are some uh, properties of the concrete that has been used or the slab. Select OK. So uh, in this way you can uh, do the floor slab. I mean if you view it in 3D you can see the floor slab. There you go. You can even view it in shaded form like or consistent colors or let's say realistic with shadows without shadows so in this way uh, we can do the we can do the let's say floor slab So uh, in the next video, you will be just uh, you will be going we will be going through the let's say steel columns and steel beams mostly, and in the next video you will see three floors being constructed for this. Sim same procedure has been followed for the three floors. I mean having same columns, same beams. I mean you can change the size of the columns. You can decrease as you increase as you go up. I mean as you increase your height, you can decrease your columns sizes uh, so the same process is followed and having a slab beams and columns and other things can be uh, will be taught in the another video tutorials so thank you for watching the video